victimized people are the people that were captured in these images. And first up at 530, Harvard University recently announced it would commit $100 million to rectify past wrongs. The school acknowledging that enslaved people once labored on the campus. But for one Connecticut woman, this announcement is too little, too late. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo has more. This is the, uh, the origin of the racial profiling story. Um, and, and this started at Harvard. The images are brutal. Norwich resident Tamara Lanier claims these are her relatives, Papa Renti and his daughter, Delia. The pictures, known as daguerreotypes, were commissioned by a Harvard biologist in the mid-1800s. The purpose of the daguerreotypes were to give ocular proof of racial inferiority, and they used my enslaved ancestors to do that. Though Harvard has long since acknowledged the racism behind that thesis, the school still owns the daguerreotypes, which are believed to be some of the first images of slaves. That's where her lawsuit comes in. It's a tone-deaf colonizer argument saying that we have a right to plundered property. Our claim is about property rights and the right for me to inherit what we believe is property of my ancestors. Lanier first filed the suit in 2019, and a Massachusetts court ruled in favor of Harvard keeping the images. Harvard argues that Lanier doesn't have definitive enough proof that the people in the pictures are her relatives, or that she has legal claim to the images. Lanier says she's done as much genealogy as possible, going back to a time where record keeping, especially for slaves, was sparse. Because, because of the destruction of records, because of the war. The case then went to the state Supreme Judicial Court, where the justices had questions for the school's attorney. Just because you you're the photographer, you get to keep the picture, there are exceptions to that rule. If you kidnap somebody and take half-naked pictures of them, you don't get to keep the pictures. The Supreme Judicial Court will decide whether the lower court's decision stands or gets kicked back down. We reached out to Harvard for a comment. They declined, but referred us to the announcement of a new program addressing the historical ties to slavery. School leadership is pledging $100 million towards outreach efforts for direct descendants, descendant communities, and historically black colleges and universities. I honestly believe that this is a PR event. Not enough for Lanier, who says no one from Harvard has reached out to her since the program was announced. She says she just wants the images of Renty and Delia. At that time, this country was divided on the question of slavery, and Harvard had its academic thumb on the scales. In Norwich, Audrey Russo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.